Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to install Face Fusion 3.0 on Windows. So let's get started. So the first step, we need to install three packages. And the packages are Miniconda, FFmpeg and Klyde Kodak Pack Basic. So let's see how we are going to do that. Open the browser and search for Miniconda. Here is our search result. Click on the link that says docs.anaconda.com Miniconda. Also the link is in description. Here we go. Now we are on the official Miniconda site. Scroll down and look for Windows download. Here it is. Click on the link Miniconda 3 Windows 64 bit. In a few seconds the download will get started. And also I already got a Miniconda installer so I am cancelling the download. You should definitely download it. After finishing the download, let's install Miniconda. Open the downloads folder, run the Miniconda installer, click on next. I agree, next, click on next, I am just going to use the default option, ok, just install that Miniconda. Now let's move on to the next step, installing FFmpeg. Open the browser and search for FFmpeg. Here is our search result, click on the link that says www.ffmpeg.org. Here we go, click on the download button. Now we are on another page, scroll down and look for windows download. Here we got two links for downloading ffmpeg. Well I am going to use gan.dev link. So let's click on that link. Now we are in gan.dev, scroll down and look for git master builds. Under git master builds, click on the link that says ffmpeg git full.7z. In a few seconds the download will get started. Because I already downloaded ffmpeg, I am cancelling it. After finishing the download, open your downloads folder and extract the file you just downloaded. If you are on Windows 10, you can use 7zip or winrar for extracting 7z file. After extraction, open the extracted folder and look for the bin folder. Inside the bin folder, you can find ffmpeg and other two executable files. Select all the files and copy it. Open your C drive and find the windows folder. Paste the files inside windows folder. Although in another video, I showed you another way of installing ffmpeg, both methods will work. All we need is a working ffmpeg that FaceFusion can find it later. Next, open your command prompt and check if ffmpeg is working or not. Just type ffmpeg and press enter. And if you see some messages related to ffmpeg, then nothing. Let's move on to the next step, installing Klyde Kodak Pack Basic. Open your browser and search for Klyde Kodak Pack Basic. And here is our search result. Click on the link that starts with https colon double slash kodakguide.com. Here we go. Now scroll down and look for downloads. As you can see here, we got three links for downloading Klyde Kodak Pack Basic. Let's click on the server one. In a few seconds, the download will get started. I am cancelling it because I already got one. After finishing the download, open the downloads folder, run the KLIT Kodak Pack Basic installer, click on yes, well I will choose the normal installation, click on the next. Most of the time I will use the default options. As you move forward, you may find this screen, additional software offers, asking for installing some Infatica P2B network. Don't install it, don't accept it, decline that offer. It will eat your internet if you install it, ok? After finishing installing, let's move on to the next step, creating a virtual environment using Anaconda prompt. And here's the thing, if you already watched my other video about installing FaceFusion, then you can use that virtual environment for using FaceFusion 3.0. Or you can just delete that virtual environment and create a new one. If you don't know how to delete a virtual environment, just use this command, conda env remove hyphen n name of the virtual environment you created. So let's create a new virtual environment, open the start menu and search for anaconda prompt. Open the anaconda prompt. In anaconda prompt, type conda create hyphen n name of the virtual environment you want to create. Well, I am going to use the word face fusion. Then again, press space and type python equal 3.10. After typing it, press enter and wait for a while. And it will ask for installing some packages, type Y and press enter then wait again. Now we have finished creating a virtual environment. Let's activate that virtual environment and move on to the next step. To activate that virtual environment, type conda activate the name of the virtual environment you created. Here I used the word 
phase fusion so let's type phase fusion and press enter here we go let's move on to the next step installing accelerators although we can use cpu for using phase fusion which might be slower and if you have nvidia graphics card i recommend installing these packages which will improve the performance of phase fusion and if your nvidia graphics card supports tensor rt then you can install tensor rt packages by running this command and also if you are using an intel processor or an intel graphics card then it may support openwino then you can install openwino packages by running this command let's install the coda packages and tensor rt packages well because i did not see any improvement while using openwino I will skip that part okay you should do it by yourself if you are using open window okay and here is the thing I already got some backups for installing CUDA packages and tensor RT packages so first I will install those packages from my backups then I will run the commands I just mentioned and it will install if there is any missing packages you may ask why I'm doing this way it's because of my limited internet connection okay and you don't need to do it like me just run the commands I just showed you for installing CUDA packages and tensor RT packages after installing accelerators we can move on to the next step downloading and installing phase fusion open the browser and search for phase fusion here is our search result. Click on the link that says github.com face fusion face fusion. Here we go. Now we are on the official face fusion github page. Scroll down and look for releases. Under the releases, you can see here the latest version 3.0. Click on that link. Now again, scroll down and look for assets. Under the assets, you can find the source code save file. Click and download it. After finishing the download, open the downloads folder, extract the source code save file. After the extraction, enter the extracted folder, enter again. Here we can find the files of phase fusion. So in here, there are two files that we need to run in Anaconda prompt to set up phase fusion. First, we are going to run install.py, then we are going to run phasefusion.py. Before doing that, let's move all the files to the parent folder then again let's rename the folder to just phase fusion after that let's go inside the phase fusion folder now we are going to change our working directory of the anaconda prompt to the phase fusion folder so click on the address bar and copy the file path go back to the anaconda prompt type cd then paste the file path you just copied and press enter now let's start installing phase fusion first we have to run install.py and install.py got some options that we need to pass to install.py so here is how you need to run this command type python space install.py space hyphen hyphen onyx runtime then use any of these options for example if you are running a phase fusion using just cpu then choose the default option if you want to use the performance of CUDA, then use the CUDA as option. If you want to use OpenWinnow, then use the OpenWinnow as option. And if you got a system that support DirectML, then use DirectML as option. Here, I am going to use CUDA. So let's see how we are going to type the command in Anaconda prompt. Go back to the Anaconda prompt and type python space install.py space hyphen hyphen onyx runtime space CUDA and then press enter that's it and wait for a while until phase fusion finishes installing here we go the installation of phase fusion has been completed now we need to deactivate and reactivate our virtual environment so just type conda deactivate and press enter now again we need to reactivate our virtual environment so type conda activate name of the virtual environment that we want to activate the name of my virtual environment is phase fusion so let's type phase fusion and press enter as you can see here i got some error messages conda is not recognized as an internal or external command well i don't know why but don't worry if you got similar message just close the anaconda prompt and open an another anaconda prompt okay after opening a new anaconda prompt first let's activate our virtual environment type conda activate phase fusion and press enter then we need to change our working directory to the phase fusion directory so let's open the phase fusion directory and copy the path and go back to the anaconda prompt then type cd and paste the path and again press enter now let's move on to the next step running phase fusion in anaconda prompt just type python space phase fusion dot pi 
space run and press enter when the face fusion start running it will download some models that are needed for using its features and of course i got some model backups i will copy and paste my model backups inside face fusion folder then i will run the command python face fusion dot pi space run wait for a while if face fusion is working properly it will show a link that you need to open in your favorite browser to start using face fusion as you can see here we got a link let's copy and open it in our browser that's it guys now you have a perfect working face fusion 3.0 well moving forward let's swap someone face with another face click on target and a file browser will open up well i'm going to swap this person's face so let's select this photo and press open next we have to choose a face that we want to use as swap face click on source a file browser will open up let's choose this person click on open for maximum performance, let's choose CUDA and TensorRT under Execution Providers. And if you used DiaTemal or OpenVINO as an option while installing Face Fusion, then you will get DiaTemal or OpenVINO here. Next, we need to select the reference face. Here we go. Now you can see the result. Well, there are a lot of options down below for adjusting the result further. Anyway, let's move on to the next feature, Face Editor, which is a new feature that is used for changing a person's facial expressions so let's open a photo let's set this photo now let's turn off the face swapper and choose face editor after a while you will get a lot of controls for controlling facial expressions you can make her smile you can make us angry you can make her amazed all i have to say is this play with these settings according to your needs Moving on, we got a new age modifier feature that is used for making someone older or younger. Let's select a photo, turn on age modifier. Here we got one slider. Moving to the right, the person will become older. Moving to the left, the person will become younger. You may need to choose reference face. After a while, the person face will get changed. Move the slider to the right, the person will become older. Now moving on. New face fusion has expression restorer, pixel boost and some new changes. Well, I'm not going to dive into those things. You can find it by yourself. And the video ends here. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.